Hi. What's going down, y'all? Mm, micro Center. I'll tell you what. There is nothing better than walking into a computer store and it just being filled with everything that you could possibly want that is your hobby. Like, and on top of that, there's things in there that I've never seen before. I mean, just the sheer selection is overwhelming. The amount of motherboards, hard drives, SSDs, cases, coolers, AIOs, um, little like different types of plugs and different types of cables and all kinds of odd things that you may not normally find because usually when you're online and you're looking for something it will only take you into that category and only that category so if I search motherboard I probably won't find GPU brackets in the motherboard category but who knows I might find a GPU bracket that I really like that it's really cool and I might not even know that I want it until I find it well that's the beauty about Micro Center you can just walk in find whatever you need there's plenty of help there just walk in be in all look at all of the cases Start with a platform, pick you out a motherboard, get you a CPU, grab you some RAM, and then just keep going and end up on cases. Brandon, which was our help guy, he was really cool. Definitely check him out if you guys go down to the store in Deluch. He was a big help. Um, this was a motherboard that I found for just an extraordinary great deal. I mean, oh, <laughs> An H470 for 127 bucks. She, I'll take that. And on top of that, it's in great condition. The box was just um, open. Somebody opened it and I guess took the stickers and the SATA cables and the manual. So I'm assuming it was somebody that already had that motherboard but just lost that stuff and they were just trying to get it back or whatever. Um, but <clears throat> just the sheer volume of um, individual things in the store is just insane. I mean, they have like 50 different types of everything. Um, headphones, computer speakers. They had desks. They had like five or six different types of gaming desks. They had several different types of gaming chairs. I mean, monitors. Um, there's just so much that I went for two days and I did not look at everything. It was just impossible. I went for about four or five hours in each store, um, just kind of methodically and meticulously looking at every little thing um, because there's just so much to take in. Just the, um, the sheer number of power supplies that they offer um, is pretty extraordinary. I mean, they literally have two aisles and on each aisle both sides are filled with power supplies all the way down and these aisles are probably 20 feet long maybe longer um, so there's definitely a selection they had a lot of RGB definitely um, appealing to the RGB now one thing I did notice though while I was at the micro center uh, like half almost more than half of the cases that they sell suck gamer nexus would throw their cases right out the window man um, but yeah their their big majority of their cases I notice sucked um, they would have little tiny air slits in the front to allow air in or um, all of their cases had glass panels over the front of them which I get that's like the new design but these are new customers. These are new people that really don't understand airflow and that kind of stuff. So when you sell them all of this hardware and then you, you sell them a case that gets crap airflow, although it looks cool, it's still, you know, it's glass boxed all the way around. And I can barely stick my pinky finger in the crack where the air is supposed to come in and cool your system down. But the new person doesn't know that. And I sat there and watched them sell um, a case to a guy. 
and uh, the sales associate, you know, said his thing, and the customer was like, oh, that's great, I'll take it. Well, anyway, when the sales associate walked away, I told the guest, I said, look, I go, that's not exactly true. I go, do you see this case? I was like, look how many layers of mesh and filter there are in between here and the opening. And then on top of that, look how little the actual opening is for the air to be sucked in to cool your component. And the guy was like, oh, I never thought of that. And I'm like, yeah, I know your sale associate should have told you that. But maybe the sale associate didn't know. I mean, almost every single case I saw in, that, in those stores had tempered glass on them and RGB. But no, none of them would, was a case that I would buy. I did end up finding one case by Thermaltake. Um, it's the, uh, the Thermaltake view 37 ARGB case which we're going to do a review on here real soon um, I bought that case for 150 and the only reason why I bought it is because it's a thermal take case and they do a real damn good job on their cases and power supplies and a couple other things I wouldn't buy their all-in-one coolers stay away from thermal take um, all-in-one coolers and yeah but yeah just stay away from them. They have a tendency to break without you knowing. Um, but other than that, I went to both stores, the Marietta and the Deluch. Uh, the Deluch store is three times the size of the Marietta store. Um, although the Marietta store is like just stuff full of inventory, just like the Deluch store. So really, it's whichever one you're closer to. They're only about 20 miles, maybe 20, 25 miles apart which it was like a 20 minute ride and I mean I went back and forth between both of them a few times I mean there was one time I left and went home and was like you know I really should have bought that motherboard dang it and I got back in the car and drove all the way back out just so I could get that motherboard and it, it was exciting there was a lot of um there was like a lot of good vibe going in there um i don't know how you couldn't be around all this electronics and all this stuff and not have a good vibe um, i'm definitely going to go back to micro center that's for sure also guys leave me a like on this video subscribe if you're new if you got a comment leave it below if you're in the if you're in Micro Center Deluch, make sure you stop by and see Brandon. He will definitely help you out and point you in the right direction. If management's listening, y'all need to promote that boy. He did a really good job that night. Um, knowledgeable. I even tested him a little bit, and he knew some things, so that was good. But um, all right, I'm getting out of here. I thought I would just kind of show you guys what was going on because they play music in the store and I can't show that because I'll get a copy strike on the music so I have to do it like this and no one's probably listening by now so